What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My name is Darius Green. I'm trying to do this video. I want to talk about a lot of things that's going on in this world. So, today, I want to talk about politics, the race, just not just black, right, and how America is going to fuck up. See, I feel like this. In this age, we are not giving a fuck about life anymore. You know, technology has become a good thing and a bad thing. You know, when I was coming up in the 2000s, so yes, I grew up in the 2000s. We didn't have half the stuff that these kids got now. You know, we had cell phones, but cell phones was like flip phones. You know, you weren't able to go on the internet on the cell phones. You were able to text people um, by that time, about 2004, 2005, maybe early 2000s. And then, you know, you weren't able to record stuff on cell phones until like maybe like 06, maybe 07, that's when they started it. And so, like, these kids got away too easy nowadays. It's like, they don't go to the libraries anymore. You know, all the technology is in the phone. All you gotta do is use Google. Google, Google. Now when I was coming up, I mean, we was able, to, we had to go to libraries too. We had technology, but it wasn't like this. It was never like, like it is now. You know what I'm saying? So, if you was around my age, I'm 27 years old, going on 28. Now, if you're around my age, you know the story about how we used to have to still go to libraries. You know what I'm saying? But, what I was trying to say is that it's killing us today. You know, I never thought we were living like the Jessens. But we kind of are. So, we ain't got no flying cars in the sky yet. But, we're kind of living like the Jessens. You know, it's like people go on Facebook Live and do all this kind of stuff. Now, Facebook is probably the worst thing that ever came out. Now, back when I was coming up in my teenage years, we had Tag, we had MySpace, and I think Black Planet. Oh, I forgot to mention Twitter. Well, Twitter is not as bad as Facebook. Facebook, it gets you in a lot of trouble. And I'm going to tell you why. One, we don't need to be putting our personal business on Facebook, but we do it anyway because we like attention. Now, back in our parents' days, back, you know what I'm saying, like my parents' days, they didn't have computers. They didn't go online to find online dating. You know what I'm saying? And that's the bad thing about social media, too. We're doing a whole lot of online dating. You know what I'm saying? We can't just meet somebody on the streets or a party anymore. We just go online and meet them. Now, Back when I was saying, you understand that the feds is watching us every single day. The feds are watching us. So whatever you putting out, or whatever pictures you got on, that's why people ain't getting these jobs anymore. And we gotta learn from that. You know, we can't be exposing ourselves like that. Because, like I said, whoever watching us, it's not gonna probably hire you or none of them. So, I feel like this. I miss the days when, you know, we didn't have to use phones to look up stuff. Same time, it's kind of a little better. But you also got internet thugs. You know, people go on Facebook Live showing like they shooting, showing up, they gang banging, or fights. You know what I'm saying? That can get, get you in trouble and keep you out of school. And I want to bring up politics, but I'm going to get that to later. But I want to go starting with race. Let's start with the black race. Perfect one. The black race is so fucked up today. It's like, we don't give a fuck about our history anymore. If we do, we care about Jackie Robinson, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, or Rosa Parks. I mean, that was good that we learned about those people. But there was other people that did stuff for us. I mean, Durga Marshall. First Supreme Black. First Supreme. First Black Judge Supreme. First Black. Then, you got to think about Booker T. Washington. Y'all forgot about George Washington Carver, the first man to create the peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? We don't even know who the first black man to do the open heart surgery. Charles Drew. And so... I think about this, and I look at this, it's like, 
Martin Luther King and Malcolm X that fought for us to be this way. They just wanted to change this country. However, they had different ways of doing it. But they wouldn't want us to be out here going on social media, posting up stuff when we need to be posting. Or showing tattoos that's on our face, on our backs, and all that kind of crap. See, for years, we were slavery. You know what I'm saying? We were brought over here. You know what I'm saying? We can't forget about our past. At the same time, we were supposed to be improving ourselves. Like, Martin Luther King's dream came true in somewhere if downfall. It's like, racism in the country is always going to stay. You know what I'm saying? But we all need to unite. We do. Not just the black race, the white race, the Mexicans, Puerto Ricans. We should all unite. We shouldn't dis. Like Martin Luther King said, we shouldn't not judge nobody by the color of their skin. You know what I'm saying? Every race has has precedence in them. That's true. But we need to quit judging one another by the color of our skins. It's the truth. You know, the government don't want to see us that. The government don't care. They want. They don't want us to unite. They want us to be segregated and be precious to one another. So now when I now I was talking about black women. And I love my black women. I love them to this day. But I don't understand why y'all gotta be ghetto and ratchet nowadays. I mean some of them are trying to improve. Some of them are trying to get their life in order. Some of them are trying to get careers and degrees. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. Everybody can't do it. Everybody can't finish school in four years. Let's say college. Everybody can't finish college in four years. You know what I'm saying? Something always happens when we get into adults. Something interferes. Let me say that. Interferes. When we become adults. So, I'm talking about this. And I love y'all. It's like, black women these days want to be ghetto and ratchet. They don't want to prove themselves. You know, they got two, three baby daddies with two different other dudes. It's like, now, your parents lived in the street life. And they brought you out. Now, nine out of ten, I don't think your parents don't want y'all to follow their footsteps. And we shouldn't, you know what I'm saying, if your parents were in the streets life and gangs, you know what I'm saying, you shouldn't want to try to follow their footsteps. You should try to be better. You know what I'm saying, be better, be better. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be put in jail all the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? You told to be better. But it's like they don't want that anymore. And no, I don't hate the white man. Same time, they are laughing at us. It's like we supposed to be proving them wrong. We are supposed to be proving them wrong. We're not always want to be rappers. We ain't trying to be basketball players. You know what I'm saying? We ain't always trying to be game bangers, you know what I'm saying? We should be trying to be doctors, firefighters, you know, lawyers, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's like, if we do that, our friends gonna laugh at us. Well, first off, if your friends gonna laugh at you for doing that kind of stuff, they're not your friends. Because your real friends will support you regardless. That's the truth. Your real friends will always support you for what you do. If they don't, then you don't need to match your friend. You know what I'm saying? And I know black women are also getting tired of getting played. It's like, I don't understand why y'all don't want dudes that's trying to be successful in their lives. Y'all want dudes out, that, out here that's going to jail for stealing, robbing, or gang banging. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want them kind of dudes. And I, and I say to myself, why do y'all want them kind of dudes? What's wrong with a guy that's going to school, majoring in something that you probably don't know nothing about? What's wrong with finding a guy that can help you improve yourself? What's wrong with that? I really don't. I mean, and then, the other thing is, I don't understand why so many black females that's around my age, like 25, 26, or 28, they ain't dudes that's 40 or 30 years older than them. Now, I understand females mature faster than males. 
I understand that. Same time, would you want to bring that dude around your parents? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I know some parents don't care. Some parents probably don't care as long as they making that child happy. Same time, I know there's some parents looking at them like, why do, you, why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to find somebody that's a thug or why can't you just find somebody that's that's want to be a doctor? Why can't you find somebody that's want to be a banker? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that either. And I came to a conclusion to it. It's like, they don't care about nothing no more. They don't care about nothing. They don't care about knowledge. Knowledge is power. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is always power. You know? And y'all want to be high school dropouts. High school dropouts ain't good. You know what I'm saying? Because the streets ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? Once you get out of the dark world, the dark world, you're in the dark world for the rest of your life until you die. Because then you got to pay bills. You got to take care of your children. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got, you know what I'm saying, then you're going to have DCFS involved in your case, which I hope none of that happens to y'all. But when we come to adults, we're in this real world. And this real world is rough. But we got to try to make it in this real world. You know, we got some parents that will help us. Same time, we got to listen to them and be around them. And so, I'm going to tell you a story about myself. See, when I was coming up, you know, it wasn't easy having a step-parent. I'm going to keep it real. It wasn't easy for me having a step-parent. Um, I had to go life without my own mother. That was kind of sad for me. And I was hurting because I needed that mother to be loved. You know, my parents was educated. They was educated. You know what I'm saying? I just like who my father got with. Same time, he even made it to himself that he should have been a better leader. It should have been his way, not his, not my way. And through years, I basically had to say this. I hate to say this. I basically stopped myself from growing. I really did. Because I could have made a lot of friends. I could have got a lot of girls. But I didn't want my father to have nobody. I just wanted to be me and him. You know what I'm saying? I was the only child. You know what I'm saying? Although, she had a uh, son. But he was about maybe 10, 8 years older than me. I couldn't really do nothing with him. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't really do nothing with him. And so, when I moved to the South Suburbs... I think I was about maybe 11 or 12 at the time. Um, I had these three boys that wanted to talk to me today. And I look back at it, I laugh at it, and I'm sad that I did this to them. You know, I realized they wanted to be my friend. I realized that I was being self corner I was being stubborn because I was scared to speak. And that's kind of why I have my communication case, my, my communication, my <clears throat> communication skills as well, because I didn't try to communicate with people. However, when I got older, I tr however, when I got to be 14, 15 years old, I officially started going out more and started going to parties, meet people. You know, people smile on my face, which I don't like. Putting, I don't like putting a smile on my face, and so. I was telling somebody this. I was like, you guys got it so easy nowadays. You know, you guys got it so easy nowadays. It's like, why can't y'all prove yourselves? Why can't y'all just try not to step in your... You know, if your parents were drug dealers and in jail, don't try to follow in their footsteps. Try to do better than them. Try. You know what I'm saying? Try to be better than your parents were. You know what I'm saying? Your parents don't want y'all to be in the same system for sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how every parent is, but that's more life out there, you know? It's nothing wrong with getting out of the ghetto. It's nothing wrong with having white friends, Mexicans. Why do you think Martin Luther King was fighting for? He wanted us to have equal opportunity. He didn't want us all to be segregated. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's another reason why I think he's treated kind of fail. We still want to be segregated. You know, we don't want to experience being around a different race. But they people. 
You understand that? They are people. They are people. They do the same stuff as just we do. It's that they have a different skin color. But we still charge them. We still charge them. And some of them are racist. But you gotta determine which one is racist, which one is not racist. But we all have to learn how to come together. We all need to come together. Office. And so nothing I don't I wanna talk about is watching politics. I don't I hate watching politics. I do. It's like the Democrats are stupid, the Republicans are stupid. It's like I'm not gonna say the I'm not gonna say his name. I knew he was going to win this election. I knew he was going to win. And I didn't even vote for him. I knew I voted for the other person to win. But, you know what I'm saying? When he when he won this election, I was like, we screwed. Cause like, it, and, I, and I feel bad for the people on Section 8. I feel bad for those on Section 8. I feel bad for y'all. Because he's screwing y'all up. Screwing y'all all up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should be in your P's and Q's. Instead, y'all want to be in the ghetto. Don't want to get out, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to get knocked up by these older dudes, you know what I'm saying? And then when, when, and then when your baby comes, he ain't there for you. I understand y'all females with that. You know what I'm saying? If your mother did that, don't follow her in her footsteps. Follow somebody else. Follow, follow a better path. Let me say that. Follow in a better path. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. So, that thing I want to talk about, it's the white right race. They got all fucked up. I don't just like white people. They're funny, too. Especially when you get drunk. They are funny. Same time, they got crimes, too, you know. You know what I'm saying? Not too long ago, I saw news on some teacher was trying to hit on a student. Now, a woman tried to hit on a man. A white woman tried to hit on a white boy. How often do you hear that? Now, let it be the other side. Let it be the twist of the round. And they're putting him in jail. Same time, he shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. It's like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm like, oh, shut up. You know. Don't be stupid. You know. Because you knew better. And we all know right from wrong. It's like, why do we keep doing wrong things? Tell me. Why do we always keep doing wrong things? Why we can't just succeed? You know what I'm saying? Why can't we why do we have to be haters? We shouldn't all hate on everybody. We should want to do better. You know what I'm saying? Hating will get you nowhere. If you don't like what that person doing, do something about it. That's all we need to do. Is do something about it and be better. 